kavarinat. Uh, and that's really so soft, huh? Show you how it is done. Hello, a very good morning to you from this part of the world, to be precise, Kenya, East Africa. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sende underscore Marwa. To the returning subscribers, a big thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I don't take it for granted. And those who are new here, kindly consider to hit that subscription button, not forgetting the notification bell. To alert you whenever I upload a new video. My good people, I'm back in the village. I love this place. It has been a while since I did a vlog because I've been um, out for official duties. And here I am, you know. So, good people, <laughs> I came back and uh, there we we experienced a very very heavy downpour i told you in my previous video that it is now a rainy season and uh, right now we are experiencing very heavy heavy downpour so yesterday at around uh, 6 pm it did rain cats and dogs literally cats and dogs accompanied with a hailstone you can see the aftermath huh? The, all my plants are gone. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to tell you. Let me turn the camera so that you can see for yourself, good people. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. As you can see here, this is my elephant plant. Huh? It used to look so beautiful. And those who have been watching me in my previous video, it was so looking so good and beautiful. Huh? I'm telling the hailstone did its thing yesterday. My my <laughs> oh my goodness, my passion fruit. See how it looks right now. This is an outcome of hailstone, good people. An outcome of hailstone. See the popo that I left the other day here. I'm telling you to the hailstones were so huge. To an extent that they were hitting the roofs and I felt like it is the end of the world. Here is another plant. Huh? It has really destroyed my plant outside here. This we, we planted it here to provide shade. Huh? You see, this is the outcome, good people, the outcome of hailstone. This is the outcome of hailstone. Huh? so unfortunate these are the benches that uh when a visitor comes and uh, finds no one around they can rest here it's more of a waiting bay <laughs> it's so common here in the village good people so you can see how things are here in the village it's going to be a very very hectic day. so today basically it's going to be a very very hectic day on my part or let me say a busy day because i need to do the clean up clean the yard because the yard is too leafy and uh, it feels like it hasn't been cleaned for years just because of the outcome of the rains but that's what not uh, that is not what i want us to do today that was a uh, by the way good people i just want to take you along on how we burn charcoal from the scratch someone did ask me when in my previous video where i was uh, preparing the charcoal briquettes and uh, she asked me in my dm to do a video on how we burn the charcoal so today i just want to show you <coughs> how we do it but my brother has already lit up the, the place but i will try and show you what to do so come along, comment, like and share, let me know where you're watching from. So good people, as you can see here, <laughs> oh my goodness, we have to arrange this um, 
what do you call it? The stock. This is the kind of uh, stamps that we are using to burn the charcoal. This one here. So those who are, who are cautioning me, like uh, I'm doing a lot of, uh, I'm destroying trees. No, I'm using the ones that have not grown. They don't grow back. They are those once we cut trees, they will grow back. Something of that sort. The ones that will never grow back. The ones that never brought back are the ones we, we cut down and uh, arrange them so that you can burn charcoal or sometimes you can uh, split them and make good firewood. So once you arrange this uh, firewood in this form, I'm sorry my brother started covering it up but this is how it, it looks. You have to arrange them in a vertical form in a triangular form once you arrange them you have just to cover it up so that you can lift the place oh my god i don't know if you can see it You see inside here we have arranged some dry dry firewood and then used these uh, leaves or dry leaves so that it can help in lighting the, the fire. You have to let it light first before you do the covering completely. So right now we are waiting for it to dry and then we can cover it up. As I have shown you, you see here, right now, here it, it is, uh, we have started covering it up, this place, to let the other part so that it can light up completely. It is a, a hectic thing anyway, depending with the size of your, your trees or tree trunks or your firewood, it will depend. So the essence of covering these are uh, sorry good people because of the smoke. The essence of covering these are uh, up is to prevent oxygen from penetrating. Good 
before the essence of covering it up completely is uh, to prevent, basically to prevent oxygen from uh, penetrating the, the the bunny. So to concentrate the so the so as to get the charcoal, we have to cover it up completely. If you allow oxygen in, you will get the charcoal. That's why the the charcoal do produce carbon monoxide carbon monoxide because it is covered completely so you have to cover it this is the process we shall have to do until we are done to cover it completely so that oxygen can enter and you have to use wet 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 People, this is the, basically the process that I'm going to follow. Keep on watching, comment, like, and share. See you once I'm done covering it up. Good people, as you can see, we are finally done with covering up these uh, charcoal, whatever, I don't know how to call it. So we shall let it uh, burn. I think by tomorrow it will be ready. You know, one thing with this kind of uh, charcoal burning method is that it depends with uh, the... the the size of the arrangement of your firewood you see this one is a bit smaller and also the firewoods or the trunks were not all that large so it's going to take a shorter while or a shorter period for it to burn up completely so today i think it is going to take us some hours like a day by tomorrow it will be ready so mine is just keep on watching whether it has um it has a uh, what do you call it it has a pe oxygen has penetrated so that's why you see there is a, a lot of other soil here that i shall be using to cover it up so you there is a very difficult thing about this charcoal bunny you have to be alert always whether day or night you just to be up to be alive because once they make a hole and the oxygen penetrates in your charcoals are no more they are done <laughs> because they will burn up into ashes so you have to be very 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 keen and attentive always so i think by tomorrow the charcoal would be ready see you where has i show you how we do it once they are burnt meanwhile we have some here for just in case of any, any emergency just use it to cover up to prevent the oxygen from getting in thank you for watching good people see you once it is ready by tomorrow as we complete our exercise 
let me know where you're watching from continue watching comment like and even share hello good people a very good morning from this part of the world in precise kenya east africa welcome my, once again to my youtube channel my name is tende underscore marwa it is a windy morning here back in uh, the village and uh, it's around 7 30 a.m and um, i want us to go and check on our charcoal that we had started uh, burning yesterday this is a, a link up video or a pull up video to see how the the charcoal is doing so that if it is ready i can take you along on how we handle it yeah thank you for watching let's go let's go good people let's go Good people, as you can see, our charcoal now is ready. Even the heap has gone down. Just to let you know that they have completely burned up or they are ready. And uh, it is now time for me to start getting them or separating the charcoal from those that have not yet burned completely. And over there, as you can see, where I will be throwing and I will be using this wet brand to cool the charcoal. Some people do use water but I'm going to use the wet sand to do it. Yeah? Let's get going. So you have to carefully take away this uh, chunk in a systematic way the one that is not yet burnt to throw it away or provide you put it aside so you can throw it away from the top on burning me up so basically that is the process that I'm going to do until I'm done keep on watching comment like and share
these are the chunks that I'm talking about that are fully burnt here that are not yet time to put them on the other side. So good people, you have to be very very careful eh, while doing this. So basically this is the process good people continue watching see you once I'm done you see They sell them at a very high price. Keep on watching to see what I've done. Finally done in selecting the charcoal and plus the ones that are not burnt. You have to left them here. You want them to burn up once again. I never wanted to record it because it is the same process. So once you are done, you just take back the ones that are not yet burnt, burnt one night once again. So this way we are covering our charcoal. So it's now time to take them off because now they are already full. They are pulled down. So these are we like you saw in the earlier how I was covering them up here in the wet soil just to pull them down and to stop them from burning so our chapel is here good people I told you the other day if I were to sell this charcoal this uh, bucket will go for six dollars and the other bucket will go for so let's keep on uh, doing this or selecting it and putting it in our bucket. Hope the person who asked or requested for the video is satisfied. I will be doing what I can. There are some requests that I can't do, like uh, slaughtering the chicken or. Uh, uh, but I don't do that. 
in our culture we are not allowed but i can only do the videos that i am able to do for those who are requesting thank you for watching comment like and share let me see you in my next video